evening. Thanks for choosing Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Nick Smith. Many are finding themselves still trying to make sense of yesterday's riots in Washington, D.C. Meanwhile, lawmakers here at home are voicing their concerns. Fox 23's News at 9's Quintus Jones has tonight's top story. It was a day like no other in recent history at our nation's capital. Riots breaking out as protesters stormed the Capitol building. As you can imagine, lawmakers here at home had strong reactions to this stunning turn of events. In a statement, Congressman Benny Thompson says it is domestic terrorism and armed insurrection. This possibly would not have happened if Senate Republicans stepped up to the plate and removed their despicable leader. As a country, it is time to accept that Joe Biden will be the 40 sixth president of the United States of America and move on. Here's what Congressman Stephen Palazzo had to say. 99.9% .9 of the people that were here um, to voice their frustrations, to, to, to protest, or to be here to support the president of the United States were here in peace. Uh, and they just wanted their voices heard. It's that 1% that micro 1% that came prepared to destroy and create chaos, I hope they are identified and I hope they are prosecuted to the greatest extent of the law. Meanwhile, supporters of the president had their own rally in Jackson. It's not about Trump. It's not about any of this. This is all about evil versus good. It's all about saving our country. Now, we've just learned that at least two people in our state were arrested in the riots. We'll keep you posted on any new developments. Quintus Jones, Fox 23 News, Hattiesburg.